Earlier tonight, we talked about how the data recorders in that Trinity Bay plane crash will play a crucial role in figuring out why it went down. Marcelita Benito is using what information we have so far to build a virtual view of those last few minutes in a midair mystery. One week ago today, Atlas Air Flight 3591 took off from Miami. It was supposed to head right here to Houston. You're looking at real flight aware tracking from that Saturday morning. The flight was just supposed to take two and a half hours, a little more than a thousand miles. It appeared uneventful the entire flight until this point right here. Here's a breakdown of what we know happened in that flight's final moments. Flight 3591 approached IAH from the southeast. At 1230 p.m. Central Time, pilots contacted Houston Approach Control. They were descending through 18,000 feet, about 73 miles southeast of the airport, only 26 minutes left until scheduled arrival. Shortly after, air traffic control warned pilots of problematic weather ahead. 591 Heavy, there is a little bit of light. Well, now it's showing a little bit of heavy. Light to heavy precipitation just west of it looks like van and it is moving eastbound. They routed the flight around the heavy rain. By 1236, controllers cleared the flight to descend to 3,000 feet. 591, we'll go on the west side. That is the last we hear of the pilots. Three minutes later at 1239, while the aircraft crossed 6,000 feet, traveling at 240 knots, comms and radar contact was lost. The NTSB reports no distress call ever came, and video of the crash reportedly shows the plane nose down in a steep descent before crashing into Trinity Bay. Thank you, Marcelino. What happened in those final moments is still very much a mystery. As we get more clues, we'll share them with you. Download our app to get alerts sent straight to your phone.